Hey, Dr. Stone here. Vegas Pro Insiders Daily is back. Today is June the 26th, a Tuesday, and we are ready to roll once again. Coming off a winning weekend with our free picks yet again, taking record to 43 and 31 of late. There's a tie in there also, but 43-31, uh, that's, uh, that's good stuff. And so we're going to try and continue here on Tuesday with four more free plays for you. And along with that, I would like to let you know, you can get best bets, top system plays, top, which by the way, top system plays uh, eight and two the last uh, three days, or four days, last four days, eight and two. Uh, Joe D'Amico's red hot, 21 and eight. Kyle Hunter, one of the best cappers in the universe this year in 2018. And yours truly, after a rough week, has um, is on the way back, coming off a two-in-one day. And so, we got lots to do for you. You can become a VPID Inner Circle member for only $99.99 a month. So you don't bit baseball, You can all you got to do is put your money out there. I'm not saying it's not anything, but you don't have to do a lot of thinking. You don't have to do a lot of work. Let us do the work. That's what we're here for. That's what you're paying us to do. And when you're paying us a little over $3 a day, that seems rather affordable just off the top of my head, okay, to be perfectly honest. So sign up, $99 Vegas Pro Insider Daily right now. Get on board with winning plays. All right, let's talk some baseball. Pittsburgh is at the New York Mets. Uh, to, now, after losing five in a row, the Pirates won on Monday night, and they added to the Mets' misery. The Mets have now lost seven in a row with last night's defeat to Pittsburgh. And so with that, the Mets have dropped from minus 125 uh, to around minus 105 or thereabouts. Okay, uh, you know, depending on the sports book a little bit. Uh, Chad Kuhl is going up against Steven Matz, and that is not exactly exciting news uh, for sports bettors. Uh, to me, this is strictly a pick-your-poison game. Kuhl, it, Kuhl and the Pirates are 0-9 on the road uh, when the total is either 8 or 8.5, and, and the Mets are 0-8 at home uh, if, they're, uh, if, they're going, if they're in the midst, I should say, of a five-game uh, streak and where their bullpen has an ERA of 650 or higher. Whew. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, side just ever so slightly with Pittsburgh, and I'm going to get the holy water out and sprinkle it all around me and hope that that is the right pick. Okay, for tonight's game. Next up, the Chicago Cubs are at the Los Angeles Dodgers. Cubs have just been horrible of late. Dropped five in a row. Their offense stinks. In their last nine games, uh, they're 2.5 runs per game, and they've lost seven of nine of, of those games. So they've just been horrible. Dodgers, red smoke and hot after a terrible or brutal start for them. 26 and nine of late. One uh, yesterday's game, two to one. They're hitting a ton of solo home runs right now, and they've been moved up from minus 140 up to minus 160. Okay, against the Cubs, uh, and they got Ross Stripling, who's pitched extremely well uh, for them. Uh, it's got a 1.99 ERA, so he, he's been tough. Uh, at plus 150, I think the Cubs have to be worth a look only because of John Lester, or I should say, if for no other reason than John Lester, because he's been doing a, a really good job. Uh, He's been pitching really well. Eight and two. Cubs are twelve and three, and his fifteen starts this year. However, <sighs> Cubs have lost nine of twelve at Chavez Ravine. I just got a feeling that's going to continue. Not a not a big play certainly, but I would lean more towards the Dodgers um, overall on that one. Uh, next up, Seattle and Baltimore. A um, little perplexed here, and I'm looking at what I'm looking at here. Uh, there's some influential betters that are backing Baltimore, which is why they have gone from uh, plus 155 down to plus 135. However, I'm not sure that's the right way, and it, the their information, I, I get it, okay, from that standpoint, but they're kind of blending, looking at the peripherals. For example, Seattle has lost six of eight, okay, uh, of late, play, played very good teams, beat Baltimore last night, uh, and tonight they got their best pitcher, James James Paxton, but he hasn't been all that terrific of late with an ERA, I think, of 6.75, uh, or ERA over 7. I take that back, an ERA over 7. And he's going up against Baltimore. Now, Baltimore, we know, stinks, and they're the poorest scoring, uh, they have the worst record, excuse me, they have the worst record in the American League, but they're going with Kevin Gossman. And Kevin Gossman, in four starts against Seattle career, uh, has a 3.04 ERA. So that's, you know, okay, you, you can make the case for that. However, you know what? 
Seattle is the superior team. As I mentioned and what I wrote yesterday, they they're dro they dropped down in class to play Baltimore. They were one of my picks last night. And the Birds are 5-23 and 23, uh, after they have scored three or less runs in two consecutive games. And Gossman and the O's, 4-18 and 18 as an underdog of plus 100 to plus 150. Seattle is the play on that one. Now, I also have a pick for you, another free pick, Kansas City. At, my, at uh, Milwaukee and on the total, and you can get that by going to the Vegas Pro Insiders Daily website. And so check that to check that out uh, as well. Uh, so hey, this is Doug Upson, Vegas Pro Insider Daily. Become, become, become a VPID member. It's where the money is. That's where you can get some cash to build that banker for the football season. Doug Upson, Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I am out.